Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and on my channel I react to all things America and other stuff as well so definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to get a New Zealander's perspective. In today's video we've got a guaranteed video request from Stephen. Thank you so much to Stephen for putting forth this video today. He has recommended me to watch Santa Clara Vanguard 2016. The name of the performance is force of nature and he's written a little message here so he has said hi Courtney hopefully you can release this on Monday December 21st to celebrate your first day of summer in the winter solstice in solstice salty solstice solstice in the northern hemisphere <laughs> The Vanguard show takes the audience on a journey through the four seasons, starting in spring, moving to a summer thunderstorm, then on to fall colours and ends in a romp in the snow. Looking forward to the seasons in 2021 where we can all get together again, I know. Um, and he's also said what I do want to add here is a big thank you. You really were a bright star for all of the DCI fans who are missing out on the summer's tour. I feel that in my soul, man. I, I get so many comments like that and honestly, it's my, my pleasure. And I just feel like I've run into DCI at the exact right time you know for both of us i think it was just kind of meant to be that i happened to stumble across it on the year that people can't perform and can't do what they normally do in this this season so it's honestly my pleasure the pleasure is all mine i i'm always in awe you don't need to thank me i need to thank you you guys honestly but thank you, I really appreciate that message, Stephen. So we're going to get into the video. This sounds like a beautiful performance, and I agree. This is the perfect day to release this video, guys. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Thank you so much again to Stephen. The birds in the background are nice. So now is spring, guys. Drum majors Macy Meyer and Christopher Harper. Is your core ready? Performing their 2016 program, Force of Nature. Drum Corps International is proud to present the Santa Clara Vanguard. Wow, that's a beautiful sound. That real deep sound, eh? Awesome. 
all the thunderstorms during summer. How do they choose who do the solos? I'm guessing it's this like the seniors of the group.
bit of leaf. Oh, it's winter time now. <gasps> Are they snowflakes? fast moving man so fast moving so seamless over yet guys it's not even over yet damn I really thought that was the ending because it was that good <laughs> for Van Dad, I assume. The Santa Clara Vanguard will represent the city of Santa Clara and the Drum Corps activity in the 2017 Rose Parade. The Rose Parade appearance will be the start of a year-long 15th anniversary celebration of the Vanguard. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Charles Frost, Santa Clara Vanguard! Damn! What are they doing now? Oh, nothing. Oh, that was freaking awesome. 
I'm just like, when do the really good performances stop? And they just never stop. People just keep on recommending great ones. They just don't stop. They just keep on coming. That's insane. That's definitely one of my favorite ones that I've seen, actually. Just really strong all throughout that performance, moving really, really quickly. Lots of different patterns. Powerful music. I loved the storyline of it as well just kind of like the seasons i just really like that and they could portray each season through their costumes and their music it was just and their patterns as well it had me emotional throughout that entire performance started from the start where i literally cried like i cried ah! Sometimes when I watch these performances, I do cry because I just get really emotional because it's just, it just It's like the combination of it just sounds incredible. The sound really gets me off those horns. Honestly, it just gets me I don't know why it just makes me want to cry. <laughs> I don't know why is that weird? It just makes me want to cry and that's what happened right at the start of this performance I was like guys, it's too early for me to be crying right now. Don't make me cry <laughs> Seriously. But Frig, that was so cool. That was so so cool. I really liked that. It just it just looked so effortless, but they just they just moved around everywhere on their field and were playing beautiful music, really powerful music at the same time, right? But yeah, my question throughout that video was um how do they choose who does the solos in the performances? Because there's another um, there's another thing that I really enjoy about the performances is the solo pieces. I really love watching those because I'm just like I feel like I'm just really proud of that person. <laughs> I'm like really weird like that. I'm really weird, guys, but I'm just like really proud of them because they're just you know it's such a big moment for them and um of course this it just sounds beautiful as well and it's just really impressive but i was wondering how do they choose who do the solos i assume my assumption is that usually the people who do it are the seniors who are the most experienced but who actually chooses is it the coach or do people vote let me know down below because i really don't know and i'm quite intrigued how they do choose who do them or do they have the piece of music already and then they do like auditions to see who does it like who does it the best i don't know let me know down below um and what else oh yeah some of the shapes that they made towards the end i didn't quite catch as well so if you want to let me know those it's just so cool man ah i really liked it a lot it's one of those performances where you don't need to know the backstory to understand the performance when you watch it for the first time you know what i mean some of these performances i it's hard to understand and sometimes i wish i had read about the um the storyline before i do watch it for the first time but i'm always like i'm stuck in a place where i want it to be my first reaction and not know anything but also i you know if i do read about it and understand the storyline then I might like ruin it for myself I'm not sure let me know which one of those would be the better idea let me know but yeah thank you so much to Steven for sending in such a wonderful wonderful video and of course today is the 21st of December by the time you see this and for a lot of you in the northern hemisphere it is now officially winter time in the southern hemisphere it is now officially summertime so we've got opposite seasons but regardless of wherever you're from I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season this year I know it's really really difficult this year because of the situation for a lot of people a lot of people cannot see their families this year and just you know just difficult all around but i hope you can make the most of it and hopefully we will be better by next year but thank you so much again guys for tuning into today's video i really really appreciate it and i will see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.